Hey guys, welcome back. This is a test recording for The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. I have been going for a very long time, and by very long time I mean, you know, like, a few weeks. Uh, I've been playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's a really fun game. Um, really enjoying it, and it's kept me very distracted for the last few weeks. So, well, yeah, it's just kind of it. Nobody really watches these videos anyway, except for maybe my girlfriend. Hey, Jessica. And maybe, maybe Toxic Ice still watches. Got their Tox. How you doing, man? Sorry, I haven't been playing Halo. Anyway, let's get back to it. I don't remember what I said I was gonna do the last time. I just don't uh, think I was gonna go explore the caves over to the right, um, which kind of scares me because I don't know those caves very well, to be honest. Like I just like, don't really see them, or like you know exactly where everything is. So I end up wandering around every time I go to them. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna go over there and have a shot at that, I guess. Uh, but we're not gonna go this way because we can't. I think it might be better to go to the light world. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to the light world. And then I think in the light world we can cross right here. Yeah, see? I know things. I've played this game a few times. Alright, and... Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, here we are. Cave number one. Ah. The main thing is there's a piece of heart at the top of one of these caves. How you mm, angry things to say about you. Uh, okay, so we obviously have to drop down from a higher area to get to that chest. That's fine. Alright, so let's go to the next spot on our list here. Don't freaking take notes. Okay. Ah, yes, this is exactly where I wanted to be. I said it because I totally know where I'm at. Totally. Completely, 100%. I know exactly where I'm going. I think if we drop down to the left, it'll take us where that one chest was, maybe. Or not. Um, okay. 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 I hope you know where that's from. Okay. It's kind of obscure, I guess. I mean, the game's not, but just that little bit of the game is obscure. Okay, I'll say it. It's when you're in the menu. For uh, Mario Kart 64, and you're almost done selecting all your options, uh, he'll say "Okay" before you hit you know, "Go" to enter the race or whatever. I'm sure you know what I meant by that really lousy explanation. Mm, I wouldn't. I think one of these has to drop us down somewhere useful. It's just a matter of figuring out which one. Did I drop down that one? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Uh, maybe this one? No. Oh, that's where we went to right there. So, let's go back up. We gotta find something that's over to the right. Like that's gonna be hard. Uh, so that one's to the right, but that's in the right spot. That one's not, that one. Okay, so maybe this is an area. Yeah, we need to find another area that we can drop down. This area is just a big waste of time. That's good to know, because when I do the actual recording, then I will know that. Obviously. Ah. Die already. Yes, yes, you can die already. Okay. Uh, left or right, left or right, left or right. Well, everybody goes right, so I'm going to go left. Oh, it's a, uh, it's a fairy doozer. Yeah, there we go. Oh, perfect. Do I even need fairies? I have no idea, honestly. I can I can catch one fairy. I should totally do that. Up, oh, got it. Okay, perfect. I'm just gonna take those two for no reason. I wonder when you when you use a fairy, like when you walk into it to heal your health, does that kill the fairy? Did I just kill two fairies for no reason? Am I a murderer right now? Man, these are some heavy questions. Ah! That was great. Let's just murder tank fights. Make ourselves feel better. One-eyed bastard. Oh, you fool. 
I don't even know what these guys are called, but they're annoying as well. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, portal. I knew that. I knew that's what was under there as soon as I started to pick it up. I did it anyway. Just to confirm. You never know, there might have been a Korok under it. Everybody has played Breath of the Wild for you know, longer than 20 minutes. Not even that, like 10 minutes, so I'll know exactly what I'm talking about. There are 900 Korok seeds. There's been a pop up. Adblock Plus just crashed. Click this balloon to reload the extension. Uh, you know what? That's, that's fine. You can't see it because I'm capturing the game video directly, but I can see it. Popped up over my game and it scared me for a second because I thought maybe for some reason it would be in the recording. But of course it's not. Oh, look, another berry. Perfect. Um, oh, I think this is the one we have to drop down in order to get to the uh, that chest. Yes, because it's directly above it, so that makes complete sense. Gotta be where it's at, right? Oh, killed you. Sorry. Sorry. And, oh, I remember this. It's like a freaking huge spiral, and you gotta walk all the way around it just to get to the hole that's in the center. Thanks, Nintendo. Love this design. Completely pointless. Area. And this should drop me down to the chest, which is gonna be, you know, something completely useless, like rupees. Oh, who guessed it? Damn, I'm good. So that, uh, we got one treasure. That's good. We're doing, we're doing well. Um, and we know that other rooms are a complete waste of time, so... Doing good there as well. Um, ow. Uh, did I go to the right one ever? I went left or right, yeah, so I never went to the right one, so we'll go in there. We'll see what there is to, to, to play with. Oh, a rupee. Totally worth it. Uh, oh, I think this is a shop, actually. Like a little hidden... A hidden shop that's got some items in it. Yeah, look, there you go. May I help you select the thing you like? I just freed you. You were trapped in here. And all you care about is selling me things? Jesus Christ almighty. Oh, I'm gonna buy the heart. I'm down the heart. Okay, thank you. Best purchase I've ever made. A heart. A, human, a single human heart. <laughs> Cause that's not that's not weird or anything, right? How would does Link eat the hearts? He eats the hearts of his enemies, and that's how he gains his strength. Oh my God! I never knew how badass Link was. Jesus! Do not mess with this guy. Ganon doesn't know what he's getting into, and I lost that heart by the way. Already, so that's net. Uh, oh yeah, to the right. So if I drop down here, I should build it. Uh, yeah, perfect. See, I know how to do these things. And that's a shortcut. Ah! Oh yeah, more treasure. Perfect. Bombs and arrows. Totally needed both of those things. And then go up. This should take me back where I was. Yeah, but there's a cave here. And it's oh my god, it's the scorpion board. I found all the treasure and I'm just like flipping the gates back. Ah cool, cool. Perfect. 20 rupees. 20 rupees. 20 rupees. 20 rupees. And 20 rupees. That's like 100 rupees total. Yay, 100 rupees. Hey, what? Couldn't they just put a single 100 rupee chest instead of making me... I guess opening up a bunch of chests is more rewarding than just opening up one chest, but still. Little tedious there, Nintendo. Little tedious. Okay, so. Let me go. Die, 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 die. I never got any feedback on the camera, by the way, the, the whole record my face thing. But I was too lazy to take the uh, to change to the other template in OBS, so <laughs> I'm still still recording my face. Every time I start OBS, it's still on this template, and I just roll with it. So we're doing well. We are doing well. You know, this is actually supposed to be a test recording, um, but I might just use this as the actual recording. 
uh, and I was doing a test, I usually don't do test recordings to be honest, but I was doing it this time because it's been so long since I've played, I just kind of like, figure out where everything was and where I was at and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, I might just, I might just go all the way with this, because you know, it seems to be going pretty well. Okay, so, now it's time to do the dark part. You know what, I'm going to use some portal down here. I think I've gotten everything from the white one, which is to say not a big lot. But I think the stuff in the dark part is a lot better, so we're going to do that stuff now. And here we go. Perfect. Now we're in the scary place. Okay, so that cave's gone in the dark room. So we only had the ones over here. And uh, that one up there is gone, and this one's gone, and the only two we have left are these over here. So that simplifies things a lot, I guess. Left or right? I'm gonna go left first again, just to see what's in here. Um, hmm. Interesting. Can I even... No, I cannot. Okay. So we're going the other way then. We're in chocolate land. Oh, well that didn't go well at all. Oh hey look, but I can get up here now. Hey, that was complete accident. <laughs> wow. I think that's what I was supposed to do here, but now I can get past that hole. So. That worked out really well. My god, I'm so good at the game, I didn't even realize I was this good. Like, I did something that was right, and I didn't even realize I was right, because I'm so good at the game. Jesus Christ, my... I should, I'm probably the best Zelda player ever. Don't quote me on that. Alright, so that was obviously the one we're supposed to go down to knock it all chests. Cool. And cool. Yay, more bombs that I don't need. Alright, and now we can go up. I think this is going to take us to the top, right? This is a multi-story cave. Have you ever been in a multi-story cave? Wow. This is one ball-ass cave. Okay, so this is what I was remembering. This is gonna be like a huge cave area. Yeah. This is what I was remembering about the caves here at the Dark Road. Cause it's got all this crap. That's really fun, actually, because it's like a hookshot puzzle. It's not really a puzzle, but you just gotta hookshot to the different areas. That's kind of fun, I guess. Oh, and there's lots of chests, so that makes it fun, too. Alright, ah uh, yeah man, exactly what we needed was more rupees that we can't spend anything on. You go away. I need to go this way. Dude, I am rolling in the dough. Oh my goodness. That's why, this is, again it's not going to beat me, I'm just, just going to be so rich. <laughs> That's why he won't be able to beat me, because I'm like, just filthy rich. I'll pay somebody to kill him. I need to get back to the beginning area. It's like I go straight now. Can I even go down right here? Ooh, this is getting a bit tricky. Oh, I picked up the. Oh, man. I, I dicked myself. I dicked myself, guys. I'm going to have to take the plunge. Yikes. That hurts. Hurts my heart. Okay, so here is actually an invisible pathway. Uh, if you use a lever, you can see it. There it is. That's not hard at all. I say that and I almost fall down. <laughs> but I made it, so it's all good. Finally get to use some of those bombs that I have, like, so many of for no reason. I think up is a big path. I know left is a real path. No, right's the big path. And left and up are right paths. So I think this is like a fairy fountain or something? Yeah. Cool. Don't need you. Thanks, though. And left is the way we want to go. And there's also another spot here. There we are. And it's a fairy fountain. So totally need that too. But the fruits of all of our labor is through this door, which takes us out to this little island that we couldn't get to earlier. And if we go to the light world over here, then, ta-da, get a piece of heart. There we go. All that work basically for that. That's really the only reason to go through the caves. Right? You know, and all the freaking rupees. 
Oh, this right here. I, when I first played this game, and I remember this very well, I remember thinking that jumping down this was going to let me jump through the clouds, and that maybe I'd land in the skull woods or something. I thought it was going to be so cool, and then I got sorely disappointed because this is what happens. Like, that's not, that doesn't even look possible. How does he do that? That's Jesus. Link should play basketball. Look at that jump he just made. Holy crap. But yeah, it would have been so much cool if you got to jump down in the school woods. That's really what I kind of wanted to happen. Anyway, uh, I guess now we can go to the next dungeon. So, get to the light world. And try not to get killed by the tech type. And we will use our boot to hit your rod. This dungeon is a little hard to get into if you don't know what you're doing. You can't get into it from the dark world. You have to get to the light world, to number six here. And you have to already have Titan Smith so you can pick up the rock. And then you can go to the dark world. And ta da! It's another swamp. Uh, so we've already been to the swamp palace, which was the second dungeon in the dark world. But now we're at Misery Mire, which is also in a swamp. So there's two swamp palaces in the dark world, basically. I never understood that. It's kind of weird. This one's just bigger and raining. It's the only real difference. Alright, so the cool stuff here is actually, um, there's a spot where we can go to the... Yeah, it's over here. Oh, is there anything in here? I think there's like a guy you can talk to, maybe. Oh, there's, there's a piece of heart here. Oh, my phone's going off. Nope. Oh. That would be my girlfriend. Hey, Jessica. You just text me. I think she's the only one that watches my videos anymore, so... <laughs> I think I mentioned that earlier too. I'm just repeating myself now. All right, there's nothing really cool in here. Um, should we pay the guy and see what he has to say? Because I know he's gonna ask for like a hundred rupees to tell us something. Probably how to open the dungeon, which I already know. Hey, I'll tell you a profitable story if you pay me twenty rupees. How's it profitable to me if I'm paying you? This guy's good. How about it? Yeah, let's do it. Hee <laughs> hee. Thank you. As a matter of fact, Monster Magic is making it rain in the swamp. If you can move the air with more force than the monsters, the main the rain may stop. So we have to move the air with more force than the monsters. <laughs> I am not making this up. That's how things work, guys. Alright, so yeah, this is where I'm, if I get to the light work here, then we get another piece of heart. Excellent. Oh, and I'm right on the of course. Every time. So now we're going to complete another, another part container. We're getting close to the end, actually. I'm not even kidding. We're getting there. Uh, am, I, am I about to dig this up? No. Wait. No. Okay. I have messed that up before. <laughs> even though it looks ridiculously easy, I have found a way to screw it up, so it's possible. Alright, back to the dark room. It would suck if you jumped down right there, because then you'd have to fly to the spot again and go back. I don't know, it wouldn't be that bad. But it would definitely be a mild inconvenience. So if you go to the right here, I think this one has the... Oh yeah, the Great Fairy Fountain. So the other one's the one we want to go to. So we'll go around to the other side. Alright, so in here, these guys, we're gonna find da -da -da -da, rupees and da -da -da -da, another piece of heart. We're already starting on the next container, guys. We're getting there. So we have two more hearts to get that are dungeon hearts. That's gonna be this one and the next dungeon. And then we have one more that's heart pieces. So we only have three heart pieces remaining that we need to find. I have no idea where they're at. Um, I've completely forgotten which ones I've collected and which ones I haven't. So I may have to either go back and watch all of my videos to see. Or I can do the easy option and just wing it if I find them. I like the wing it option. It's much, much easier for me. I don't think I got the shovel digging game one. So that's one I gotta get. And then... Uh, oof. There's one that we can't get until we go to the 8th dungeon, so that's two there. And I don't know where that third one's at. That's going to be the difficult one. Great. Alright, so here we are in Misery Mire, and I'm actually going to stop here. Um, 
So until next time, guys, take it easy.